Hey everyone, I'm Jacob and this is Sam and we're from Science for Kids. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be doing a science experiment on mini vortex cup smoke machines. Woohoo! So do you want to show the kids these mini smoke vortex smoke machines, Sam? We've made some before. Oh, that's plenty of smoke. We'll have to really gentle. Have a look. Oh, look at that smoke ring, Sam. Look. Yeah. You do it really, really gentle. Oh, wow! Look! That's it. You gotta do it very, very, very gently. They're so easy to make and they're so fun. Wow, look at that. Woo! Very gentle, Sam. You can do lots of little smoke rings. Look at that. To make these smoke cannons, what you need is some plastic cups. Um, candle and a nail and a parent to watch you do this because you're going to need to um, get some heat. So Sam's going to um, light the candle. Alright, well done Sam. Sam's lighting the candle now. Oh, very good. And then blows out his match. But don't put it back in. Don't put it back in. That's how, that's how fires start. Now, with your plastic cup, you need a little hole. Now, one way to make the hole is to actually melt the hole. So Sam's going to put the nail into the pair of pliers and then he's going to heat up the end of the nail with the flame of the candle. Alright, look at this. Let's try that big flame, hey? That's a better flame. Okay, it looks think, like my skin. Think this is better? Yeah. Okay, are we ready? Let's see if we can melt a hole in the cup. Oh, yay! In we go. There's a little. There's a little hole. It's not a very big hole. Can I touch it? Okay. So have a look. Now we've got a hole. Let's blow out the candle. And what we need to do is we need to put some type of covering here, which we can tap. Now we could try our plastic, some plastic bag material. Or we could try some baking paper. We could even try some aluminium foil. That's what we call it in Australia. In America, I know they call it aluminium foil, but we call it aluminium foil. We could try use some cling wrap. Or you could make a few and try what material makes the best um, smoke rings. What would you like to put on yours? I'm going to pour aluminium foil. Aluminium foil. Okay. So let's get a bit of aluminium foil. And we'll just get my knees and use my hand. Sam's got an elastic band. And I will stretch it over. And he will put the elastic band on. You could use sticky tape if you want. But that's nice and easy, isn't it, Sam? Well, the hardest thing to get a ball is actually a smoke machine, Sam. Yes. So we do have a smoke machine. Um, don't hold it too close, Sam. And I might just light the candle because maybe you can have a go at trying to blow out the candle with your smoke rings. Okay. Okay, try your smoke ring. Okay. Hey, I did it. Hey, I did it. Yeah, I think you have to be very, very gentle. This one, that's it. You got to be very gentle. I need to get this one out. Okay, don't go too close. You got to aim it a bit better. Look at that! <laughs> I might try some baking paper. I might. Well, Daddy, you some of the smoke comes out here. Let's have a look. So, can you help me, Sam, and put the elastic band on for me? On for Daddy? Okay, and then we'll just twist it around. Alright, can you have a little bit of smoke? Whoa, that's a lot of smoke. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Oh! 
Look at that! The hole doesn't even have to be perfect. Time to run out! Look, I can smash. Oh, that's a bit too much smoke, Sam. So these mini vortex cannons are so much fun, aren't they, Sam? Yeah. Just make sure you have an adult to help you do it, and hopefully you can get a smoke machine so that your little cannons are awesome. <laughs> okay. Oh well, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today on Science for Kids. Um, so. Don't forget to do an experiment. You can try different types of cups. You can try different size holes. And you can try different type um, skin material. So there's lots of things you can do for a science fair project idea. <laughs> Maybe what you can measure is how far the smoke ring actually travels. So what's the best cup? What's the best size hole? What's the best material to get the best smoke ring? Okay, thanks for joining us everybody, and we'll see you again soon on Science for Kids. Bye!